Friday evening, Valve pushed an update to SteamVR Beta, which allowed some little desktop view slice of life benefits. But for the back end related to what's in the future of SteamVR and Deckard, of course, Valve has been adding a lot of things related to OpenXR bindings. The most notable is uh, having a D-pad, which probably wouldn't be used for a lot of VR controllers, but the idea to play non-VR games is, I'm guessing, what that focus is for. The more important updates are related to something called app throttling, where apps can uh, sort of frame limit to how much they can actually push out related to getting better battery life, similar to the Steam Deck. I'm guessing they want to have a lower frame rate so they can re reproject it higher with a dedicated chip for that. A more interesting thing, if you're a big fan of AR and XR in general, they added something called Room View Direct or, or references to it, which might be related to actually overlaying the AR stuff related to pass-through cameras, similar to how every other company is doing. It's very likely this Room View Direct would be actually run on the actual HMD itself uh, with a dedicated chip for that.